All right, guys, so here we are, we're out at the range. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've gone ahead and zeroed this rifle in, and we found the sweet spot. Usually, for me, at about 55 grains, about 300 yards. would like to extend that out to about 400 yards, but I just said, you know, what the heck, we got a little bit of time today. So, <laughs> and I've already run this twice, and I don't know why, but we shifted left, and uh, so we we're going to redo this whole entire video. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is I want to look, take a look at the Raptor reticle and this uh, primary arm scope. Now, this is a pre-release, and this is the one that uh, the gentleman who won the competition or draw last night, he's going to be, this is the exact scope he's getting. So what I want to do real quickly is I want to show you the benefits of the uh, Raptor reticle. We're going to use the Tacticam scope uh, through the scope recorder thing. So you can see exactly what we're talking about. And I went out and bought a bunch of the IDPA targets, which are 18 inches in width, which is about the shoulder width of a human being. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, one of the things is we'll, we'll talk about first focal plane, second focal plane, if we get done shooting, because I think that's what kind of screwed it up as I was messing with some stuff around here, and it kind of shifted left on me. Not sure why, but real quickly, before we start shooting, let me show you something, and we'll go to the, let's go to the Tacticam. Outstanding. All right, so that is, hold on. All right, all right. so what I want to do is I want to show you these IDPA size targets through the scope using the tactic cam. So let's go on to the tactic cam. Here we go. All right, so right there, that is 100 yards. You see how that fills the entire circle. So if you notice, you've got shoulder width to shoulder width right there. That's 100 yards. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pan up to the 200 yards, and as you can see, that's 18 inches from there to there. I'm hoping you guys are seeing that. All right, good. Now let's move on up to the 300 yards. Now one of the things I love about the ACSS reticle is that 300 yards is a perfect, in my opinion, the absolute perfect distance for engaging with a 5.56. Any further out than that, you're, you're, you're getting to that limit of a 55-grain bullet. And that's what we're shooting today is a 55-grain bullet. I want to use something of normal usage. And what we may do is switch up to the 62 here in a little bit. But that's after the fact. Uh, all right, so at 300 yards, you can see that the, the chevron basically covers the whole thing. Now, the tip of the post is your 300-yard bracket. That's where you're going to be impacting. Now here's where the interesting part is. You have the cross sections of the ACSS reticle, or in this case, the Raptor. That 18 inches, that's a 400 yard target right there. Now I want you to look at that. See how that cross section covers the entire 18 inches. That's your 400, se 400 yard section. Now let's go ahead and move up to the 500. That's your 500 yard target right there. And how do I know it's 500 yards? See that substantion is right there? That's 18 inches across. Perfect. Now up here, you see that's my big old gong at 600, and for some reason I'm used to hitting that without any problems. Today's something's going on. I think it's because it's 23 degrees out here. Our uh, vo muzzle velocities are just dying. But with the idea is to show you the IDPA target and the 18 inches right there. You see that? That's it. That's something that's pretty cool. And I'll probably have to increase the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, clarity or the, uh, <laughs> the actual uh, contrast on this. You can see, taking a look, you can see what 1,000 yards looks like out of this reticle and the scope all the way out like that. Pretty cool. All right, so what I want to do, I've got cameras this time on each one of those targets. We're going to pop one round in each one of them. And I just want to see how close we are on those targets this time. Here we go. We're going to hit the 100-yard target, center mass. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 200 yards, center mass. Not bad. All right, so I'm going to bring a bag back here. We're going to use a bag. Use a bag. That's 300 yards. I'm going to put the 300 yard post right dead center. 
Now what was happening before, we were getting a little bit of wind. My impacts were drifting. I didn't even hit the 400, 500, or 600. And I, I'm not sure why, uh, because the elevations are perfect. They should be. So as you can see, there's our 400 yard right there. No, that's 500, damn it. All right, so next we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the 400 right there. We can see the 400. I think we hit something. We hit that 400 yard uh, steel down there. Ah, oh, we're hitting a little low, okay. So now we got the 500. I'm gonna hold a little high on this guy, right there across the shoulders. And now I'm gonna try the 500 steel up there. Can't even tell where I'm hitting. All right, now we've got our IDPA target at 600. This is a far stretch for a 55 grain. We can do it all day long, but for some reason today, it's a little difficult. Let's do this. I'm gonna hold top of shoulder. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on this target over here. Oh, we're hitting way short. Pop a couple more rounds in and we'll run these up as fast as we can and see how that works like that. Stand by. Alright, so today we're going to run with a 20 round magazine. Let's just say we are in Virginia and, uh, you know, we're just trying to defend our home. So we're going to gauge the 100 yard target right there. We're going to engage the 200 yard target there. 300 yard. 400 yard. I don't know if I'm hitting that. 500 yard, I'm going to hold top. Seems like we're running a little shy on the 556 five, or 55 grade. And I'm going to hold top of head for 600. Did we defend our homestead? Let's go ahead and find out. But you guys get the, you get the gist of the Raptor and how we use those brackets to size that 18 inches of shoulder width apart. It's a perfect DMR style scope as far as I'm concerned. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. You have wind holds. You've got five mile an hour wind holds. Let's go out here, I'll show you. So a five mile an hour there, all the way to there. So at 600 yards, that would be five mile an hour wind hold. At 700 yards, that'd be your 10 mile an hour wind hold. Very, very simple. And that's the beauty of this radical. Let's get up here in a few minutes. I wanna show you how much fun it is because we're gonna zoom it all the way into one power. And we will show you what it's like to shoot CQB ready. Bow, 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 bow. Stand by. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, so one of the things that I absolutely love about this scope is that the adjustments are in one quarter inch per click in MOA. You get a lot more adjustment features than that. Most of the time it's a half inch. So one of the things we wanted to do was go ahead and uh, re-zero it using the 62 grain because I feel like the 62 grain uh, because it may not be as accurate but it will carry further uh, because of the ballistic coefficient which will probably be able to help us out at that 600 yard target so went ahead and re-trued uh, the reticle to the sweet spot at 300 yards we had uh, three clicks to the right is what I would determine or I determined which at 300 yards is three quarter of an inch, so three quarter of an inch, inch and a half. Uh, what is that gonna be? Two and a quarter inch adjustment to the right. 
So hopefully that adjustment will work good. We'll find out. We're gonna go ahead and run from 100 up to 600. I've got the cameras on. We also got the uh, tech cam running, as you can see right here. This thing is really, really cool. And you can see that reticle. The, uh, the, the sights are not, I mean, the, uh, the targets are not that bleached out, uh, which is uh, kind of upsetting to me. But hopefully we might be able to get that, uh, that brightness to, to bring down. So let's go ahead and get my ears on here real quick and let's get the shooting. Stand by. So we've got 20 rounds to defend the homestead here in the great Commonwealth of Virginia. Actually, I'm not in Virginia, I'm in Pennsylvania. But uh, let's go ahead and we will start off by, as you can see my tripod and my camera, there's that I IDPA target right there. And I've circled the uh, pre-existing ones. Let's just go like that. All right, there we go. Now let's go to 200. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to go slow. 300 is going to be the top, this top of the post of the target. Now, as you can see, we're going to use, there it is, there's our 400. I'm going to shoot top of shoulder right there, just at the bottom. There we go, right now. All right, now we've got the 500-yard target. That's really so bright you can't see it. I wish we could. Uh... At least that's what it looks like on my phone. There's the 500 target. I'm going to hold just below the top of the shoulders. And then we've got our 600 yard target. Same thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my yellow target in the far right hand, left hand side. I don't know if I'm hit it. Let's go to the 400 and shoot our little twins here. Yeah, okay, those are on. If you guys can see those. The sun is just so bright today. You can see all the way out to that thousand yards. Clarity on this scope is really good. So, with the cameras rolling, we're going into full defense mode. There's an attack coming on. The insurgents are coming in. Six hundred. I'm gonna hold top of head. Ow. <laughs> this thing sits back a little further. I was nailing myself with the one to eight. Uh, <laughs> there doesn't give you a whole lot of room. You got to get really up on it. Let's load those up and see if we did any more fun or right, if we did any better. Look at that. That's the target I use for zeroing right there. All right, so one of the things I was able to do was bring the exposure level down on the camera. I wish I had done that before. Uh, so hopefully this will give you a better idea what this thing looks like. But in any case, let's do this thing. Uh, we are running the 62 grain. We are defending the homestead. Look at that reticle. That view. 200 yard right there. Well, we're going to engage the 100 yard. <laughs> Ah, we're out. Ugh, out of rounds. All right, so anyway, let's get on up there and see how it went, and we'll do an after action review of this guy right quickly and see how it works out. Stand by. Uh, all right, guys, so we're sitting out here. This is 10 yards, and uh, we got some of those IDPA targets right behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and engage it. And again, with the tactic cam, you guys are gonna be able to see what that reticle looks like. So we're gonna do double taps, bam, 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 just like that. A lot of the ways we do it, uh, just in the competition world. So here we go, we're at 10 yards. Get her right, stand by. Two shots on paper, that's a good one. Let's do that again. You already ready, stand by. Beep. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. <laughs> I think I got, uh, what was that, 16 rounds? And there we go, we're clear. All right, so let's take it on back to the shop 
and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the Raptor, the one to eight. Uh, one of the cool things is, is yeah, the CQB part of it. You can see what that reticle looks like right there. Very good. Now, when we do this, if you're in a position, boom, you're all the way out to where you need to be to shoot at distance. Here we go. Let's go back to the shop and we'll talk details. Here we go. Stand by. Bah. It's cold out here. 